I believe personally this is how we're going to feed the world, and it's the future of agriculture. Cook's Venture, it's a company that's willing to go out on a limb. This is an important step towards a model that's actually better for people, animals, the planet. A system was designed and they pulled the trigger on it. What's different about this project here, it's not just talk. Hey there, Mark. Hey there, Daniel. Do you have an ETA on that tractor with the transplanter? I will get that right back. So we're getting ready for the transplant crew, which will be here in 10. The nature of this particular project is the blessing of being able to work on transforming so many different farms in one fall swoop. Mark Shepard and Karen, they called us from all over the country. They said, we're gonna plant these hazelnuts on these chicken farms. Ta-da! The hazelnuts are one of the few plants that can tolerate the quality and the quantity of nutrient that is in poultry excrement and the poultry just love hanging out in the shrubs and eating hazelnuts and all the bugs that are associated with the bushes. So the farms that we're working with are folks who are fed up with the conventional system, who really want change, but they've been stuck with only having one or two companies that they can work with. We, I think as a culture, are realizing that there is a ton of faults in the way that we've been practicing agriculture. This farm was growing chickens for some of the larger poultry brands in the USA. All of the barns are getting retrofitted with doors that'll be opened up and then the chickens can run free. They need some sort of shelter from the elements, so hence the hazelnut shrubs for shade and protection from predators. We want to mimic nature because nature is more efficient than we are. Sustaining is maintaining the status quo. Regenerative is improving the quality of soil over time. Having trees keeping our soil intact and communicating with the biology around them is integral for any farming system. And it sets the example and the paradigm for how we expect our network of growers and ourselves to manage land in a resourceful and regenerative way. It's gonna take all of this nutrient from the animal manure that ordinarily might wash away in the rain and turn it into woody biomass and leaves in the fall. It's gonna be habitat for butterflies, for all kinds of critters here and it's gonna take literally tons of CO2 out of the atmosphere. This is the planting crew. We've got two people that are setting the plants and then three falling behind, making sure the plants are straight and all the roots are buried and packed. The tree transplanter, it makes this little furrow in the ground and just for a split second, each person is holding a seedling and they're putting it into that slot. So those two wheels that are kind of pivoted on a 45 degree angle zippers up that little right, slot. That's how we can do thousands and thousands of trees just in a single day. I love it. <laughs> this feels incredible. So I get to be a part of like the, the daily oxygen that's in the air. I get to be a part of not just taking it in, but providing. Trees get better and better and stronger and stronger. And so there's something about that resiliency that's just powerful. So they'll turn into a bush. They're going to be about eight feet to 10 feet tall. Nice rounded shrub. The nutrients that the chickens will be giving off by interacting with these plants, it's going to help these grow bigger. It'll help them produce more nuts. One of the things that blows my mind over and over again is how happy chickens are when they're in with hazelnut bushes. It's just gonna be full of green in these alleyways. And so having the birds just kind of dance in between, like play and hide underneath, like getting bugs off of the leaves. We're the beneficiaries of this nutrient dense type of animal. When you plant a little stick in the ground and the fact that one day it's gonna be bigger than you, it, it represents the whole project. How can I describe, using words, the smell of green hazelnut bushes in the sun uh, on a summer afternoon? It's just a really wonderful smell. 
it'll be a radically different appearance. Thank you.